Hey guys, Rocky again. Welcome back to another Mr. FPGA video. So today I'm going to be messing about with something that's been doing the rounds. The Jaguar Core. Um, it's by nowhere near ready to go, to be honest. It's, uh, well, I believe it's Electric Ash's Core. This is the way how he's, he's ported it from somewhere else. Um, it's not ready. But we'll show you what, what it can do. I've tried to keep the signal so you can hear it. So, let's have a look. Load. So, I've got some ROMs on. Let's start with something I know definitely works. Nope, there it's there. Zool 2. So, for those of you who don't know, the Jaguar has two coprocessors called Tom and Jerry, which apparently which makes it extremely difficult to program games for. However, inside the Jaguar was also a Motorola 68000 chip, which was found in a lot of things. I don't know if you can hear the crackly sound. So, Zool 2, I highly suspect this version of Zool is a port of the Amiga version. I don't know that for certain, but... So it sounds a bit crackly, there is some slowdown here and there. But it's certainly playable-ish, I suppose. But as I said, I, this game does not take advantage of the Jaguar at all. See the top of the screen there. I do quite like Zool. At one point, that I will. You can, see, you can certainly see the Sonic. And Mario influences in it. One time it was sort of an unofficial mascot for Commodore. Got a lovely E2 poster, Zool actually. Again, this is just to see what it looks like. This is what I've just pointed. So there are some options within the core, but there's not a lot. So, for example, so you've got your load your ROM, region settings. Card checks on patch, CP speed normal, the usual cookies. So let's try loading something else. Let's see if Wolfenstein 3D will load. A lot of these don't run. As far as I'm aware, and I currently want to do on a Jaguar, they are basically region free. So shouldn't really matter what the region's set to. It seems to be. Oh, here we go. This will be interesting. Give me the crackly sound. ABJ, full fan of. So. I do have a very soft spot for Wolf 3D. I really do like it. I thought that one was there. What have we got there? Just looking for hidden places. There's hidden all over there. It'll be this way. Fortunately, I believe the map on Wolfenstein 3D, is that, that's it, I'll get the 
hidden treasure in here. Again, I don't think this really takes advantage of the Jaguar at all. It's okay. Oh, some treasure there. Again, this is pretty playable. Um, sounds not real, obviously, but but this is actually surprisingly okay. playable. Obviously, there's a lot more work to do on the core, but yeah. Again, there's not a. So, as I said, I currently own a Jaguar, I've owned several in the past, including one with a, a skunk board, which is a development board that enables you to play games from ROM as well, so I have played a lot of the more expensive games. And the, the Jaguar is kind of like a holy grail for like people with the emulation scene, because of, or, as I said, it's just so hard to program, program for and to make. Come on. Is that not? Oh, key. I need a key. Right, okay. I forgot about the key. You know what? That's enough of all 3D. Let's see what else is on the list. So, let's have to try Rayman. The original Rayman was an Atari Jaguar game. The platformer still continues to this day. A lot of these are very finicky. They were loaded sometimes, not others. This has loaded for me in the past, so we'll see how it goes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I think this happened last time. It just loads a blank screen, which is really not. Again, it's a beta core. Let's see what else is there? Well, let's try the one that everybody remembers. Good luck. It does play, sort of. I remember when I first saw this particular game on Bad Influence in the early 90s, people were blown away. The green head. So the sound is nowhere. But... Here we go. Wait for it. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. The sequel battle morph, I believe the hidden head turns grey. The draw distance is. You know, this was one of the poster games, but because the draw distance makes the game almost unplayable. So, right, let's, let's smash into a... Oh. Avoid the ground. oh, sh... I want to say, where did you learn to fly? Right, that's Cybermorph, a game I could... Uh... Right, let's try one of my favourite Amiga games. Cannon fodder. And those of you who've never owned the Jaguar, it does growl every time you load the damn thing up. That's not a... The 2D games seem to be working better, although both 3D looks pretty good there. Right. 
obviously loading and saving don't yet work. The screen position's off as well, that's not just seems to be too far down. Kill all enemy, yeah, 13 foot so quick. Let's we'll see how it plays. Again, I believe this is just a I believe this really looks like I believe this could be just another port from the Amiga. That's not on the Amiga, that render background. The graphics certainly look Far better with a mouse. Hmm. If you've never played this, play it is really damn good. That's enough of that. Let's have a look what else we've got. The one that everybody will want me to ask you about if I didn't load it. People go on about this game like it's some mystical rising. It would have saved the Jaguar if the Atari rumoured apparently hadn't held it back, etc, etc. And it, the money, like box copies of this are now stupid money. So, last few times I've tried this, I've had some several er graphical errors. So, let's try the alien. You, well, you don't know, you can play as the alien, the cloning marines, or the predator. H has its own skill set, weapon screen. Okay, here we go, we're in. I'm not a big fan of this game, guys. I really am. Anyway, it sort of plays. Let's AVP. Let's have a look at something else. Right, something a bit really weird. Um, let's see if Doom will load. Oh, there. Super, let's try Supercross. Oh, red means a, a, a connection error. Let's try Katsumi Ninja! And that's exactly how it sounds. Oh well, that's not so good. Now we're getting Overstrike. Let's 
just see if it'll play. It's a thrill 3D game. Oh, it's sort of loaded there. Guess we're out of luck with Hover Strike. Okay, let's try Doom. The Doom port of the Jaguar is my... doesn't have any music, but my opinion is one of the best on consoles. It really is a good port. Now, I didn't have much success with this last time, so hopefully this time it'll play a bit better. Guess not. Alright, let's try one more thing. Oh, I haven't got flashback on this. So Trap Iron Soldier, that was another. People usually got this as a packing game, that's another one of their early games. This is only some of. Oh, I guess not. I want to try something else. Actually, what? Oh, I'm to try, try Dragon the Bruce Lee story. I actually own that somewhere. Okay. Hopefully as this core matures on our version game, we're gonna get a lot more options. Oh, that's why. Lantern well, Festival 961, okay. But we are making progress, this is really good progress. As you can see, the 2D games seem to work a lot better than the 3D stuff. Another black screen. What to play? So play something for two more minutes. Um, syndicate. So I suspect this is probably another mega port on the ocean with a logo that I don't like as much as the last one. Come on. Oh, oh, come on! Yeah, begin mission. Yeah. Accept. Loading mission. It certainly looks a bit like the Amiga version. Hmm. Could be. Again, games should really be played with a joystick, with a keyboard and mouse. Anyway guys, just a quick look at the current sort of state of the development of the Atari Jaguar core for the Mr. Device. If there's any games you'd like to see or other cores you'd like me to cover, drop me a um, comment in the section below. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.